Hey guys, JJ here. As I said, we're going to do a lot of product reviews coming up over the next few months. Uh, stuff we've trialled and tested. Um, seems in my older videos you'll see I like to test kit out in the field before giving my opinion on something. Um, I'm all for home testing, um, but nothing, nothing beats using it as it should be. What we have trialled here is a hydration pack. Um, previously I've used caramel equipment like that and brilliant stuff. I was single, could afford caramel, brilliant kit, but it is pricey. Now everything I'm doing with family, uh, it's, not, it's by four. Everything we order is by four. Um, not every piece of kit fits each one of us or suits each one of us. So we have to look at convenience. Um, trying to get the boys used to carrying their own kit. The youngest is coming up seven. Um, so before I start him off with a just carrying his own water. These hydration packs, I'll put a link in below, are from Amazon. Um, they hold three liters of water. Bring a bit of kit. Quite nice padding behind. Chilled water. Chilled bottle of water in the uh, fridge for a couple hours. Chucked it in there. Uh, five, six hours later, it kept it fairly chilled. It was quite, it's not that warm water at the end of the day. Walk. It was still refreshing. It's, this is the youngest now. All we've got is just the bag on its own. We've used the connections on the back and had it small pouches on the back for snacks, first aid kits, etc. for the small ones. What we have is it's 43 centimetres by 18 centimetres and it weighs in at 400 grams on its own. So, you know, it's light. It comes in multiple colours. We just gone for our dab with olive the green. You have water bag bladder on the front, fixed water micro cap on the front, simple, found it quite simple to fill up and do up none of this fiddliness. Grab handle, another grab handle at the top. What we've done, we've been putting carabiners through these, hang up and dry, and seems to work for us, identify the tribal. In the back, you have this pouch. It not the, not the largest, but um, I fit the OS map in there. You can fit some bits and bobs. Um, I'm not really sure what, if that's supposed to be KMR or it's part of the branding. I found some with exactly the same with this, some without. These are pretty sturdy. You've got the actual pipe for the hydration come through comes through to the rubber tip and dust to thatch slash protector on the top. Um, okay for storage, not so much while you're walking, I find it a bit more fiddly. Uh, if you ever do buy one of these, the initial thing is it doesn't come with any instructions, which are a bit of a pain. But what you do get is it's got a little lock on it. Which is that. That's all it is. That little shut and open lock there. It does work. Works well. A little bit fiddly. Uh, bright valve on the end. Comes nicely over the shoulder. Brilliant. Um, because we've gone from decent walk recently from decent distance, I've literally just filled it, slid in the back of my rucksack, and just put the pipe out over the shoulder on my rucksack. There's a trick. Um, as I said, that's the youngest, so it's just that as it is. And just add some pouches, some ammo pouches, whatever pouches we had available at the time. All I've done at the moment just put a little zip tie on each corner just to hold them in place. Um, this one's got snacks in. Always need some snacks. Always handy. Um, bit of power. Powerful bracelet on the back, just as a 
identification so we know who's who in the family if we go to take them off. But three litres of water. It's a good old. Um, when we picked them up, we picked up four for 40 quid. I think it's four pound postage for the four of them, so pretty much 11 quid each. Um, I have seen them quite a lot dearer for the same bit of kit. Only thing I will do is this out of my own preference is at some point is I will change these stop these stop bits here for your more your camel on off switch. I find that a lot easier to use. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with these, just looking for the ease of using them. So yeah. Good bit of kit. When, when we do the Camino Santiago, the actual bladder itself will come out of here. Um, quite simple. Pull the cap off. Pull out the bag and you've got your bladder inside. We'll go into our rucksacks, but I think you know. Um, Rucksacks, got a lot of military style ones, not going to be practical for uh, the Camino, it's a long walk. Um, I'm looking for something a bit lighter, a bit more practical at the time. So we, we've got some ideas, we've gone to we'll file some shortly, see what's suitable. So, as I said, I put a link to the bottom below for these, I can't read them enough, honestly. I use them five, six times easy now. Not a fault with one of them. Uh, just keep the water cool, keep the water where it's meant to be. When you want it, it's there. Even with just the plain webbing straps, but, you know, there is no padding on that. But they're wide enough, supported enough. Even with three litres of water on there, they still feel fairly light. Um, Keep the lid of the pouches on there. Okay, it's not textbook, but it works. As as Greek man once said, if it works, it ain't stupid. That works. So, what can I say? Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. JJ out.